Hey YouTube, um, we here we have live. We have the Abernathy clan here. Howdy. We have the beater of skins and the guy that sings like a woman and me. And we're here with a very special vlog for you guys. Today is free comic book day and we're here. I thought it was Handsome Man Anonymous, my mistake. Well, that's not Handsome Man. <laughs> anyway, we are here at Joker's Child in Fairlawn and we are getting ourselves some free comics and we're covering this entire day. It's all been cleared. And uh, for those of you who haven't been uh, with the whole comic game for a while, Free Comic Day happens every May 1st, and or every first Saturday in May, and they give away free books, and they try to get people addicted, which we've all pretty much have been. So we're gonna take a move on. So here is the wonderful Joker's Child. If you could take a look at the sign there, and the sign here. And here is the wonderful display, free comic book day, yeah. first Saturday in May with an exclamation point, because we're all happy. Well anyway, we're about to head in, as you can see we're in New Jersey, in the X-Men, and um, we're just going to head on in. And we are inside, and we're trying not to intrude on people's privacy, we're working, so. Anyway, we're trying not to intrude on people's privacy. As you can see, there is quite a few people in here. This place is very, very occupied today. Um, we'll do a little run through of the store. Here is my uh, little crack section where I get my Buffy on. As you can see, if you're a Buffy collector like I am. Look at that face! Look at that face! That is the face. Look at that face! Look at that face. Look at that face. It got squeezed in the birth canal on the way out, I think, don't they? Um, that face is really mushed. And this face isn't. This face is nice. This face, not so much. Oh, but yeah. I have a bunch of Buffy action figures. I haven't done any reviews yet because none of you have asked. But, you know, if you want, then just leave us a message. But this is where you get all your Buffy and Angel needs. Behind us uh, is the magazine rack where you get all the weird NJs, all the wizard, all the toy for all the stuff that you need. And then we have some spawn stuff here. And the torch for Doctor Who down That violator is only $16.99. Well, it works like this. You get one of these. Who do I have to blow to get it? And now we're moving along. Here is the new comic rack, new release rack. You guys who go to comic stores, you've seen these things a million times. One thing I really like is they have a lot of hardcover editions all the way across on the top, as well as like diorama kits. Like right there, you have uh, Astro Boy, big guy, a big guy. Sorry. Uh, Kit. You have a power loader and various other things that Judge Dredd, oh my god, a vinyl Judge Dredd and Freddy Krueger and moving right across. You have all that stuff. Here you have Doctor Who, which we love. We love Doctor Who over here. Too bad they don't have a sonic screwdriver. Maybe I'll have to have her special order me one here. The owner actually does a lot of special orders for us. Yeah, if you guys don't watch Doctor Who. The Clockwork Man. One of the you guys ones. should watch Doctor Who. You should. You seriously should. Like it's. There's nothing good on television right now. Watch Doctor Who. Get DVDs and and catch BBC up. Oh uh, yeah, I get free BBC America. So we have our graphic novel racks. Yeah, buddy. And there's another one on the other side. And we're gonna keep going, Mr. Manishevich. Lead us through. Down this way. Don't touch the book. Once again, another Mrs. graphic novel. The Mrs. Sweet Ellen DeGeneres comic book. There's an Ellen DeGeneres yeah, comic book. Yeah, That's wrong. Female force. That's... It's, I can't even begin <laughs> to comment on how wrong that is. And we have a graphic, we have a graphic novel. Rack back here with all your Green Lantern <laughs> needs if you need anything. They know. Just, just say no, say to, Red no to Red Hulk. Just say no to Red Hulk in general. Just these say days. no to Red Hulk. It needs to be before 2000 if you're going to enjoy your Hulk. <laughs> just say no. Just say no. Mm. 
Okay. Transmetropolitan. What are we looking at here? This is Transmetropolitan. Awesome comic book. I definitely recommend this. Uh, what's it about? Give us a brief synopsis. Give well, people a reason to read, an incentive to read. <laughs> this comic's basically about this guy called Spider Jerusalem. He's a crazy guy. He goes on. A, he's a journalist, mm -hmm. and he basically uh, does journalism about his city. Um, I haven't read it in a while, but I can't remember the city. But um, he basically, it, it's like a science uh, science fiction, I would say. It's got all kinds of weird, crazy stuff going on. Near future. Ne near future, yeah. Uh, there's a weird cat with two heads and smokes cigarettes. Um, funny looking cat. Uh, this guy does drugs, and well, pretty much everyone in the city does drugs. And they have these special uh, like pills that you know you don't get cancer and all kinds of weird stuff like that. So uh, definitely recommend it. Check it out. And what comic shop would be complete without a manga wrap? Um, if I could recommend a manga for you guys right now, I recommend this one right here, Battle Royale. Amazing, amazing, amazing manga. I know it's a, or I'm saying, I know it's a movie, etc. I recommend the graphic novels or the manga. Sorry, got no sleep. Also, you guys know Akira. I recommend Akira the manga. I read the first volume. Have yet to see the movie though, but we also have Fifth of the North Star, and I just completely didn't even pay attention. They have. Red River, which I also stand behind. And uh, Old Boy, if you're a fan of the films, you check Old out Boy, where it started. If you're a fan of the incredibly messed up movie, you should check out the manga. And of course, Astro Boy and Oldie but Goody. We have some I went down Marvel to Legends Icons, I actually did business the latest series. We have some larger scale Star Wars stuff up here, and some Star Trek stuff. And this incredibly frightening Mary Jane Parker. This Planet Apes is pretty cool, even though I hate it really. IDW's Angel is amazing. Forget what you read on Buffy, it's eh. Angel's where it's at. That's where all the good writing is. I love King of the Hill. It's an amazing show. I'm pretty certain you guys. I'm pretty certain you guys know about King of the Hill. I don't need to tell you. I would get these things just because I'm such a huge fan, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They're actually made by Soda. Rest in peace, Soda. You're no longer. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I like this Dale a whole lot. But yeah, King of the Hill was an amazing show. Sad to see it go. Sad to see animation going the way that it is. But. You know, there's still some good stuff out there. Futurama, you're familiar with. Family Guy stuff, you're familiar with. And South Park stuff, which you guys are all familiar with. We have our Jack Pacific, WWE stuff. Well, Shibby Goldust. Shibby Goldust. And we have some other stuff. Check out how sad the Stone Cold Steve Austin is. We have some. Hellboy stuff, which I love. I love these little figurines from comic books. Uh, I really, I'm really interested in the dreaming. Uh, you guys who are Sandman readers and you're familiar with the dreaming, and actually the new Sandman there, his replacement. But yeah, really good stuff. And then if you guys are familiar with Preacher, they have some figurines here. I love Preacher. I love Sandman. And for all you people searching for movie figures, more stuff related. There's a little area, a little nook here where you can find stuff that you're looking for. So, there's a lot of McFarlane. Uh, some Marvel Legends stuff. Uh, I'm pretty certain you guys have a bunch of this. This Luke Cage is eyeing me. I might have to get him. I finished my Hero for Hire setup because I just recently got back into Marvel Legends. After having a few back in the day and just getting rid of them. But, have some two packs here, some Marvel Select, some Hasbro Marvel Legends, which some people go grumble, grumble, groan, groan. Secret Wars two packs down there. We have some Watchmen figures. We have some Japanese imported stuff. Uh, a lot of 